this is a beautiful love story, and you. you are like a maven of love stories. You first <laughs> got me with Love and Basketball, mm -hmm. and then Secret Life of Bees, and now this. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about Beyond the Lights. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a love story set in the music world, and it's a world that I'm fascinated with and, and have a love-hate relationship with, so it was, it was good for me to be able to explore the complicated world, uh, but also to really put a love story out in the world. You've got these two characters from two different worlds that are trying to figure things out and, and being pulled in different directions. And I myself, I love love stories and love to go to a movie that wrecks me and then leaves me inspired. And, and so I basically wrote what I wanted to see. You know, love hasn't gone anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that we've lost the appreciation for it and we've, we've lost touch with the beauty it brings and the enrichment it brings to our lives. Um, so for me, doing a film like this, not just presenting love as an abstract thing, but presenting relationship mm -hmm. uh, and process in a way that is healthy and encouraging uh, was really, really important for me. In this day and age where everybody wants to be famous, everybody's looking for the 15 minutes of fame, what it feels like to actually be able to step into playing a pop star and mm. like explore all of that. Yeah, you know, it was such a great process and, and working with Gina prince Bywood, she's such a wonderful collaborator in many ways, you know, because she'd written the script and, and um, you know, was planning to direct it, you know, a, a few years ago and then I came on board and we started sort of developing the character together and yeah. we did so many things from going to see, you know, Rihanna and Beyonce in concert to go to the Grammys to, you know, taking on all the dance classes with Laurie Ann Gibson yeah. and, and the music with uh, The Dream, you know, it was really such um, a great and layered preparation. Noni's loved by everyone in general and mm -hmm. no one in particular. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a bit about that. Yeah, I love that you say you said that. Loved by by everyone in general and no one in particular is 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 spot on, uh, and that has to wear on someone because her mother in her feeling it isn't is also involved in that yeah in she's that a manager statement. she's not really a mom right it, but I think that she's not a villain I think that she no. does at the root love her daughter but she doesn't want to uh, distract her with that love I think you know in many ways that's kind of one of the the costs of fame potentially you know that, that everybody knows who you are exactly that but you know in terms of on a more intimate level um, it, it can be difficult, I guess, to to conduct relationships because the legend of the persona sort of gets in the way. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I think Gina did a beautiful job in kind of portraying that and, and seeing the human being beneath the diva. Beyond the Lights is in theaters now. For Atta Girl TV, I'm Denai Marari.